All right, well, my name is Kevin. Uh, I'll be your server this evening. I'll be bringing bread to the table. Uh, what, what would you like? Uh, okay. Oh, so no, you go ahead. You go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, do you guys have oysters? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. We have them raw on ice. They come in uh, 12, 24, 48. Mm, I'll do 12 for now. For uh, now? You got it. Uh, and also, can I get like three lemon drops to start off? You got it. And um, well, that's that's it for now. Oh, okay. What about you, sir? Um, what would you like? I'd like to use the restroom. Uh, oh, please. Okay. Well, the restroom. If you What's up, guys? What's going on? What's your boy, Mr. Nobody? I'm back. Been here again, hanging out in the fire. Okay. We have another one. We just seen the cheesecake girl. Now we got the oyster girl. What is the H going on around here? Why are women accepting dates that they have no interest in dating a guy from? You have no interest in the guy, but you're going to take a date and then you're going to try to run up the bill on it. What's the fucking purpose? <laughs> Y'all have to see this. You really have to see this. And this is what's going on. It's been going on, but for some reason, nobody wants to talk about it like this. I don't care. I think it's stupid. And a lot of other uh, men are talking about it. So they already dragging the cheesecake girl. This oyster girl getting drugged by everybody too. So they're not looking good. Women taking L's on these two. And then we're not even going to talk about the rest of the year. Dubai. Um, the Carly Russell. And then the last chick that did some shit. You know, we're not even going to talk about all of them. Alright. So women are taking L's left and right this year. 2023, not y'all year. But check this shit out, man. Y'all check it out. Y'all, so t today I linked with this I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This n texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? I don't know. But today I was bored and I had time. So he texted me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like hands down. So I'm like, yes, I can get some content. Come on. It's so good. Yeah, I went out. He was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm gonna eat. And I was coming anyway. But I ain't gonna lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that. But I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Mm. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that, I'm Chick like, really had baby, four things of oysters. Mm, what's next? <laughs> this chick had a nerve to say, what's next? A fucking laxative. That's what's next. She ate four trays of 12. They had a dozen special, $15 a tray. And she ate four of those. So you put 48 oysters in your body. Can you imagine how that's going to smell down there when all that start coming out both ways? 48? And that's what y'all women doing out there on first dates eating like that? But check out what she continued to do, man. This chick, man. It what I'm about to eat. These potatoes. Mm, they were so good. And the crab cakes. You eat Everything them all? was so good. 10, 10, baby. Damn. You mean you're going to eat some more? She eating crab cakes and potatoes and some other shit. And I noticed that was like her third drink. So she running up the bill on this dude. You just ate all these oysters. I didn't even want to jump back in the video that quick. I didn't think she was going to be eating like that again. I said, God damn, she just, I thought she would have been done. 
But just let's just see what's going on with it. Let's just see, cause hell, it might be something else. Why the f this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? <laughs> the f I'm like, hold on, it's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes. Bitch. What the f this nigga ate? I had to end up grabbing a tab. Bitch. Nigga left me with his little one fucking drink. I'm so glad he keep me some money, cause what? That was crazy to me. I said, bitch, you run out on the tab. He talking about I'm offering you to drink. The f what are you talking about? <laughs> when I was duetting that video, I just took her caption, and I think the caption said he broke in the story or some shit like that. But somebody pointed out that this bitch was broke too. She left an eleven dollar tip on what I know to be over a hundred fifty dollar bills. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I'm telling you, that's two dudes. Man, y'all, y'all set it off. Set it off. The cheesecake girl, the dude, took her ass back home. This dude dipped on her. I don't blame him. He saw what you was doing. You was trying to run up the tab on him. Oysters and potatoes and cheese. I mean, um, crab cakes. Looking like you drinking uh, margaritas. At least three or four margaritas. Like, what the fuck? What, were you starving at home or something? Guys, this is my only question. <laughs> I want to ask her, how did you manage to eat 48 oysters and have room in your stomach for potatoes and crack? But boy, <laughs> he bounces. He talks, I made my money. Bye, bye, bye. Then you're going to tip $11. You're going to tip $11. Okay. All right. You know your ass ate more. You know, that ain't 18%, all right? So you gave less than 10%. <laughs> all right, man. But this is the crazy thing here. So this young lady coming up here. So I don't I don't really know who she is. She's somebody out there. But it's not the point. The point is how women are so on this girl code thing where y'all don't hold each other accountable. She comes on and and hold these ladies accountable. But the way she's trying to hold them accountable, she keeps she's holding them accountable, then apologizing at the same time to the women because she's like, well, I'm not on their side. I'm not on the men's side. So how do y'all how do people expect to learn or know something if you constantly on a on a drive to where you can't do no wrong? And then you got to go deal with another human being. As if they're not going to see this shit like, like these dudes did. Just like this dude. She went up in there thought it was cool to go and do this to this dude. But he was smart. I was like, man, F that. I'll be back. Not. So check out how these women hold shit accountable to the other women. But she like, she worried about being a pick me. So don't be a pick me lady. Damn, 48 oyster girls gonna have these men calling me a pick me. Cause god damn. But ladies, uh, I gotta hold you account. I gotta hold the ladies account. I have to hold the ladies accountable. Uh. I can't help you. I, I, I am a girl's girl. Okay, I have content talking to young women on, on, on how to avoid being preyed on, how to find a good man, how to be, uh, uh, uh. and here you come uh, uh, with your 48 oysters and your four lemon drops and all this kind of stuff. Let me, okay, let me, I am not a pick me. I'm not a pick me. I'm not a pick me. Okay. You know how we tell men, don't lie to us about relationships. If you're not interested, you just want to have schmecks with us. You're just trying to whatever, let us know. Don't take away our choices. Don't take away our options. Because maybe we too just want a schmexual uh, relationship with no strings attached. But if you don't tell us, we feel lied, used, abused, played, whatever. We say, oh, oh if you tell a woman that that's all you want and she leaves you, okay, move on to the next. Ladies. You knew you didn't like that man. If you don't like that man, do not go out with him. 
you can't be that like i see that the lady paid for her own food so this is no shade to her but the problem with this type of behavior is you're damaging like you're damaging the very men that are actually interested in, in, in going out and dating women because that type of behavior looks like you are you're trying to use him and you said it in the video like like i'm I, I hate that i even have to say this but like men are people men have feelings too and we can't sit up here now did y'all see that little little side eye little smirk she's saying men are people too it's like i guess y'all y'all fucking women y'all people too right if you want the same respect you're gonna have to roll out with some respect point blank all this other shit y'all out here trying to recreate and do it ain't gonna work with us because we are based on respect if we don't get that respect you're not gonna get the dudes you're looking for i can guarantee you that 199 percent. if you don't give him respect you will not get the dude that you want simple as that let's get back to the pygmy and 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 cry about wanting them to respect us love us be honest with us and then we openly do shit like this if you are a city girl right you want to get wine and dine you want the fancy gifts you want the louis vuitton the jewelry then say that tell that man i'm not going to applebee's because the applebee's girl my lord jesus i'm not going to applebee's and i'm gonna tell you right up front i'm not coming to applebee's because i don't go there on my own time or cheesecake factory i don't go to cheesecake factory in my own time if i do it's to pick up a cheesecake literally and take it home to eat it i'm not eating their food i don't like it i don't want it. i don't take my daughter there i don't take my friends there i don't want to go there you know, it, it's funny hearing this about this cheesecake factory. Because a lot of women say a lot of other stuff they don't go to. I don't go to the cheesecake factory too often. And the reason is, it's always fucking crowded. They have a long wait line. So, for all of you talking about you don't go there, I see a lot of couples dressed nice, fairly, going on dates in the cheesecake factory. I see a lot of married couples going to the cheesecake factory and me and my wife would go when it ain't too crowded now we was in atlanta we tried to get it we went down there a lot of people's in the cheesecake factory so i don't know why all these women coming on now and say i don't eat that cheesecake factory i don't eat this y'all motherfuckers eat somewhere because y'all up in there but i know it's funny that y'all say what well, y'all don't eat at these places, y'all don't eat at the Applebee's, y'all don't eat the Cheesecake Factory, some other place you don't, don't, I don't eat at Chains and all this. But you clowns will end up in a damn IHOP late at night like it ain't nothing. Y'all eat that greasy fucking food down slashed around and threw around all night. Y'all get sit down and eat that shit at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. So don't act like y'all don't do it. Everybody do it. Everybody go to a restaurant somewhere that ain't the best far as the looks, but the food be slamming. Let's just be real, man. Stop cut that bullshit out. I don't do this. She said that whole thing. I don't eat. I don't do this and this, but I order and pick it up. I don't go in there. Well, you eat the fucking cheesecake factory food. How you going to sit there and say you didn't like it, but you order and pick it up? I know somebody said, well, she talking about just cheesecake. Well, that's the fucking food. It's Cheesecake Factory. Specialized in cheesecake. Stupid ass. Okay. And when I go out on dates, men know that. They know what to expect. They know what type of time that I'm on because I say it. So if you want that type of shit, then say that. And if the man says, no, he's not spending the money, he doesn't think you're worth it, he ain't got it, whatever, then move around. It's really that simple. Like, y'all got me looking like a pick-me on here. Red pillars, passport bros, we're not allies, okay? This is just a couple women that made a little bit of mistake on the internet. I'm just calling it out. We're not allies. We're not friends. We do not. Lady. We don't give a rat's ass about aligning with you. I'm not red pill. Red. We men, 
we're going to always be men. We don't have to align with nobody. We don't need your support on anything. We're going to be who we are. If your girl's out there effing up, that's on y'all. Yeah, she out there, they have to represent y'all like this. Then you go handle that shit on that end. Don't worry about us to my you are ally with us. We ain't worried about that shit. Keep it moving. How about that? Take someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant. The fuck is wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? They're brown bread slaps.